I'm Pete Gavin, um, 84 kilo, U.S. World Team member, uh, living in Columbus, Ohio. When I was growing up, I didn't have all the success that some of these guys did. I mean, I, I was pretty good, but I was um, I wasn't great like uh, some of the guys that are on the team coming out of high school were were talked about and recruited by every Division One program out there, and that, and that just wasn't the case for me. Um, for me, I'm not the most athletic guy in the world, so I know that I have to really pay attention to detail and. Uh, you know, like within my technique, my positioning, things like that, I got to make sure I'm always in good position. I got to make sure my technique's on point or else I'm not going to win. It's simple as that. So, um, you know, it took me a while to kind of find myself in, in wrestling. And uh, when I first started, I, I was kind of trying to just do what everybody else did. And I realized that somewhere along the lines, probably in college sometime, I realized that I wasn't going to achieve my goals trying to be like everybody else. So I had to kind of carve my own niche a little bit and find out what, what I'm good at. And then I just kind of ran with it. I have a good variety of training partners, which is nice. At home, I kind of train with the same guys um, over and over again. So after a while, I kind of get old. And coming out here, it's nice to train with some of the best athletes in the world. And like I said, I have quite a variety. I'm just looking forward to the World Championships. So I'm really excited. It's my first World Team. Uh, I, I think everybody else that's on the team has made uh, a World Team before, so uh, this will be my first time, so I'm really excited about that. Up at 84, Keith Gavin, I think he's the only guy on the team that uh, has no world level experience, but he's been in the grind. He's done it. He's wrestled in a number of international tournaments, and I think this is his year. He's wrestled well, and uh, we're looking forward to doing some great things out in Budapest. I mean, my days are pretty much the same. I get up, I work out, you know, I go eat, I come back, work out again. That's about it. So, uh, we're in the wrestling room a lot, so uh, not much else. 84, Keith Gavin also trains in Ohio with me. A great guy, a man of few words, but uh, very clever and very introspective. Uh, it's fun to talk to. We've had some, some good conversations. Um, my goal for camp is just to take it one day at a time and make sure I get something out of each and every practice. Um, especially as camp goes on, you kind of get, it's easy to, to get kind of homesick and, and tired of being here. So it's important to try to you know, make sure I'm still getting everything I can out of each practice. Well, it's, it's huge for me. I mean, I've been wrestling my whole life pretty much. So to finally make a world team and get to represent my country, it means everything to me. Um, so, uh, like I said, I'm really excited about the opportunity. Sacrifice to me just means uh, giving up, uh, getting uncomfortable, I guess. You know? um, being at home right now would be way more comfortable. And, and training at home and sleeping in my own bed and being with my wife would be what's comfortable. But I have to sacrifice all that and come out here. And um, hopefully that's going to pay dividends for me. Yeah.